Hey guys, welcome to Path to Nowhere. We have Countess Chelsea and let's see how we're going to be building her. Starting off with her skill priority. Moving to her skill. So we have four skills here, as you all know. So normal, ultimate, and two passives below. First and foremost, you need to level up Dear Kitty. Okay, her ultimate, she is... She's tied to her summon, which is Citri. She's they really make her team. Without Citri, you won't be getting um Countess Chelsea anyway. So you have to start with her ultimate. This builds up her um bond with Citri, which with HP increase of 80% of uh, Chelsea's max HP. So please prioritize this one. The second one would be behave or get petrified because the petrification also delays delays what do you call this delays um, enemies moving forward. Both um, Chelsea and Citri will have petrification, and the chance of them petrified increases to a max of fourteen point four percent. Definitely use this because both of them will be doing all the blocking, not so much for the damage dealing. Okay, then the next one would be your shared fate because they will have damage reduction because of this one and damage redistribution. Okay, and have the same health percentage. The effect has a four second cooldown. And the last one, of course, would be the physical attack damage for the normal attack. Considering that she's there to slow down um, enemies marching towards the chief. She is more valued for the other skills, not for the attack that she has. Okay, so moving on to her crime brand. I wouldn't suggest you level up Chelsea, um, Countess Chelsea, if you don't have this one. This is the most important one, the Creed of Bulwark. So block plus, plus one. Because um, right now, as is Chelsea's default block, it's going to go back here, is only one. She can only block one, despite being an Endura. So you have to have this crime brand for you to use her, for you to really, really benefit from her because of petrification. Again, it would be a shame if you could only block one um, incoming enemy. With this one, you can block two. Okay, so you could also actually use this with other defenders, but for her, it's an it's it's an increase. It's a hundred percent increase in terms of the number of enemies she can block. So this is a must for her. You have to equip this on her. Then the other two would be um, in host name. So damage taken is reduced by eight percent for each enemy block. So it applies to the additional block uh, that she has. So again, this. This is actually a very good uh, crime brand because it has damage reduction for her and for each enemy that she is blocking in front of her. So as you see, that is the crime brand that is fitting her. Let's uh, check out her deployment role on how... She, she's a defender, but definitely I'm going to show you uh, with the effect of the crime brand um, that she really can block to enemies okay guys so just take note of um uh countess chelsea we will just uh, do um we'll just focus on her in terms of how many she can block and also when citri comes out how how many citri can block as far as um uh, uh the her her exclusive crime brand Citri will be able to stay during the whole duration of um, of the game. So it's better that, as you can see there, she can block two. It's better that you give her the, the current crime brand that I mentioned, um, which is Bulwark. So as you can see, she can block two. Let's just wait for... Um, what do you call this? Wait for her to charge up. We still have a lot of enemies on the floor anyway. So let's just deal with these pesky range people. So let's put the uh, Citri here. So Citri will will act as your you know secondary blocker. 
if um but she can block too definitely that is it so as you see there uh because of the crime brand she can actually block two at a time and uh there you go going back to um her shackle level and let's discuss that one okay so for shackle level Number one is very important because when an enemy is petrified, Countess Chelsea and Citri recover 3% of their max HP. If, again, you're, you raise your petrification percentage, this is going to be triggering um, quite a bit. But next would be going to number four. Four is Countess Chelsea gains 10 energy when the battle starts. This is important because she needs to, she needs to summon Citri right at the start especially if you are focusing your team more on the back end and you have you're lacking one blocker in the front so you can actually put countess chelsea um in one slot then have a vacant slot there for citri especially if you have your exclusive crime brand uh, citri can stay for the duration of the battle and take note guys that your summons are affected by the heals of uh, of the sinners that you have so that is why citri can literally stay for the duration of the battle as long as you um unlock um countess chelsea's exclusive crime brand so speaking of crime brand so is she worth it for phase three so just want to discuss this citri now stays until the battle ends as i mentioned when citri is on the battlefield dear kitty restores 40 percent of citri's max hp and petrifies all enemies within a three by three square around citri for two seconds so definitely okay for your umbra i would i would actually just recommend either kawakawa or countess chelsea only the two of them build either one of them or you may build two of them depending on you but again countess chelsea gives you an additional blocker and with citri and her and with that crime brand that i mentioned um both of them can really block up to four so that's a lot of um you know a lot of enemies to block for only for you know for one in one investment the difference between kawakawa of course and chelsea is that kawakawa gives shields to other you know other team members but if you don't need the shield and if you have healing in on your team and you need additional blockers definitely go with countess chelsea over kawakawa that's the only um that's the only way that you're going to be choosing countess chelsea over kawakawa but again if you're asking me if it's worth it to um to phase three her yes if you're going all in with her as your primary defender Okay, so that is it, guys. I'm just going to go back to this one. This is the one that I'm mentioning. So this is Credo Bulwark. You need this on Countess Chelsea to make her more effective. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.